Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am back here once again in my chair in my trademark white t-shirt to talk about people taking advantage of manga readers for profit. Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Promji. Welcome back to a brand new video. Now today, what I'm going to be talking about is a problem in the manga community that I've seen more and more frequently as manga has become more popular. And that of course is bootleg or fake manga. Now I actually made a tweet like way back in the day, probably about a year or so ago where I said, thank goodness manga collectors don't have to worry about buying fake manga like figure collectors and card collectors do. But uh, I guess I'm going to have to eat those words because recently, especially on eBay, I've seen more and more of these fake manga listings appear, people from Malaysia selling these fake volumes of Chainsaw Man, Haikyuu, Attack on Titan, the list goes on and on. Now this issue is nothing brand new necessarily, but it's definitely become more widespread as manga has gained popularity due to COVID and other things. So I wanted to make this video to talk about the situation as well as warn you guys about what to look out for when it comes to buying fake manga so you guys don't make the same mistakes that many other people have fallen victim to in this situation. So if you guys do enjoy this video, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more more manga videos just like this. Also, if you're in the market for some manga that is not bootleg but is still for an amazing price, make sure to go down the description below. Use my Right Stuff link. You get manga for amazing prices. You also help support the channel. But with all that being said, without any further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so the topic of today's video is, of course, bootleg manga. Now, when I say bootleg manga, what I'm talking about is a series that is put out physically or is owned by, you know, a publisher such as Viz or Kodansha or what have you in the US is put out by some other third party in English and basically brand itself as an official release when in fact is just not the case. I've seen these volumes pop up a lot recently on eBay. If you search up, you know, Haikyuu manga English, you're bound to find a lot of fake copies being sold. Now, sometimes these volumes will be listed for a cheaper price than it would cost to buy these new from, you know, Viz Media, a legit source of these manga series. But sometimes the prices for these volumes are listed even higher than MSRP, which is absolutely ridiculous. But somehow people are actually buying these fake volumes from these sellers for even more than the volumes would cost normally. And it's definitely a shame to see. Now, the bootlegging of anime and manga products is definitely nothing new, especially from places like Malaysia, where most of these volumes I'm talking about today in this video are coming from. You know, Malaysia has had a big issue with bootleg anime DVDs and Blu-rays, and obviously other goods such as anime figures, gumpla, or body pillows can all be faked and are faked very often. So if you're in the market for those things, you definitely have to keep an eye out for fake sellers. Now with goods such as these, it can be very hard to distinguish real from fake. Obviously they try to make the products look as similar as possible to the original without, you know, infringing necessarily on copyright laws too heavily, which is obviously what gets a lot of people who don't know better or don't know the differences between real and fake to buy these fake bootleg products. But luckily for us manga buyers, and manga fans, there are a lot of ways to tell a fake manga volume from a real manga volume. And I'm gonna talk about a few of those today in this video. The first difference that you'll see when comparing a fake to a real manga volume is the logos and the overall look of the spine. Now here, as you can see on this Chainsaw Man volume, we have the Shonen Jump, we have the Viz, and we have the normal looking Chainsaw Man spine. Now, when you compare the look of this legit spine to one of the bootleg ones, you'll see a lot of differences. The first one obviously being the publisher. Now, most of these will not say Viz, they'll say something like, TR Media or like WOS. These are two major unofficial bootleg publishers of manga in Malaysia. So you definitely have to keep an eye out for these two in particular. But I'm also going to be leaving a link to a tweet that's very helpful put out by a Malaysian manga fan who has a big spreadsheet of a bunch of different names of fake unofficial publishers to avoid if you're looking to buy manga. So if you're worried that you've bought bootleg manga, check the publisher and if it's on this list, it's a bootleg copy. A couple other things to look out for in a bootleg copy is differences in quality. The first which being paper quality. Now, here in my hands, I have a self-printed copy of an Eden, It's an Endless World volume. This volume was never put out in English by Dark Horse. So a handful of these volumes right here were printed just so people could finish this series physically and not have it infringe any copyright laws or anything like that. But I will use this as an example for differences in quality because the quality of this volume is definitely a little bit lower than your normal volume. Now it's kind of hard to tell from just this video, but the paper is a lot thinner, more flimsy, and even a little bit translucent, meaning you can just see right through the page. I don't know how well you can see anything, if at all, in this video, but the paper quality is definitely not all there. And sometimes the spine and cover of the actual volume itself will have a different sort of texture than the original. Sometimes it'll have 
kind of like a matte feel to it. Other times it'll be really glossy. Most of the time these volumes are just printed with the lowest quality materials, the worst paper quality in order to have the largest profit margin. Back when self-printing was still a thing, these volumes cost like four or five dollars to print very, very cheap, and it definitely shows in the quality. Obviously, the quality is not going to be as high as your standard, regular, real manga volume, but you know, that's not stopping these people from going on eBay, mass printing these things, and just selling them for a marked up price because they're cheap. People are buying these in demand series and they're getting a lot of money from it. Also, if you look at the listing itself, you can find lots of phrases and images that are reused and are reoccurring that can tell you that you have a red flag bootleg on our hands. The first thing to look out for is this green surface that they'll often have the volumes in front of. This is something that you often see from quality control pictures of things like bootleg sneakers and clothing. If you see that the seller has pictures of just a stockpile of volumes in the background of the picture, that's a telltale sign that they're just mass producing these volumes and selling them on eBay. Obviously in this day and age of manga scalping, this is not 100% true. I mean, some people will just go to Barnes Noble, buy all the stock of, you know, legitimate Viz Media Chainsaw Man volumes and sell them on eBay. So definitely keep an eye out for that. But again, just look at the spine, look at the publisher and you'll know when you have a fake on your hands. If the listing has DHL shipping in the title or just a straight up picture of it in the images. Also steer clear if you see shipping from Malaysia. Buying anime and manga products from places like China and Malaysia is usually not a good idea. And again, a red flag that you have a fake product on your hands. So those are just a few things to look out for. If you think you have a bootleg copy or if you're looking to buy some manga that you think may be a bootleg before you buy, check these things. If it's from TR Media or one of these other fake unofficial publishers, check the list in the link in the description below. And even if the volume that you want to buy is in fact cheaper than it would be to buy, you know, a real volume from Viz Media, we do not want to support these people who are actively ripping off and deceiving manga readers who often don't even know better. So if you're new to manga collecting and afraid of buying a bootleg volume or a set of bootleg volumes, you can either look out and avoid these red flags that I've talked about today in this video, or you can just straight up avoid eBay, shop from places like Amazon, write stuff, in stock trades. I have a whole video about best places to buy manga. So if you're a little bit nervous about buying a fake volume, maybe you just want to steer clear of eBay and shop from those places instead. And yeah, that's basically all I have today for this video. I just wanted to make this video to inform you guys who are not yet aware of this crisis going on with fake manga. They're popping up more and more. So you definitely have to keep an eye out if you're new to manga collecting and you do not want to buy bootlegs. Let me know in the comments below what you personally think about bootlegs leg manga volumes. Have you bought any on accident before? Have you bought any on purpose? I sure hope not. But uh, yeah, definitely let me know what you think of this issue in the comments below. And if you did enjoy this video, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more manga videos just like this. So yeah, this has been the Prom G. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And as always, hope to catch you in the next one.